Ag Week TV Soy Insight, brought to you by the North Dakota Soybean Council. Iron deficiency chlorosis was a big problem for the 2022 soybean crop, and it may be again this year. On this month's Soy Insight, we talk about what to look for in soybean fields and what to do if you find it. Joining me now is Jay Goose, who recently retired from the NDSU Plant Sciences Department, and he spent the last 25 years specializing in IDC in soybeans. The crop, 2023 crop, has just been planted. What's the outlook for the season? Uh, my outlook for t uh, 2023 is, well, it was a late start to the spring, but, um, and it's been dry. So that might say that, um, that um, chlorosis might not be as severe in 2023, but the other factor is when you have long dry spells, salts move up and salinity intensifies chlorosis. And in any case, all it takes is a big dump of rain in June or July, and the soybeans will turn yellow on certain types of land. When might growers expect to start seeing signs of IDC? If the soybeans come up, and in the first or sec first trifoliate, they are starting to turn yellow. That is a critical situation. And a farmer needs to stream on a rescue treatment of iron fertilizer. If um, by the second or third trifoliate, if the growing point is injured, um, the crop is almost a, nearly always lost. And although you're retired, you're still quite involved with IDC work. I am. Um, my retirement project does, does involve iron deficiency chlorosis. Um, I have my own small research project and I'm looking at rescue treatments. What happens when, um, when what the farmer does isn't good enough um, and how to rescue a crop that's suffering IDC. Well, all right, I'm sure we'll be hearing more from you. Thanks for joining us okay, today, thank you. Dr. Jay Goose. For more information about treating IDC, you can contact your county agent.